Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Lucy Charles Barclay. I'm a professional triathlete and I'm the current Ironman World Champion from 2023. So in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about goal setting and staying motivated. Whilst I'll obviously be doing this from an athlete perspective, I feel like this can be definitely used in the wider world, no matter what your goals are. So hopefully you can take something away from this video. I don't think there has to be like a key time to set a new goal. I think everyone goes on this new year, new me, let's set a new goal and see if I can achieve something, which is great, but I do feel like there's quite a lot of pressure behind that. And it also doesn't need to be, oh, I'm gonna have a new goal next week or next month. If you've got a goal in mind, there's no better time than just to get to it. Like why wait? Balancing ambition and achievability is really, really important because a lot of us might have really, really high ambitions. You want something that is gonna be difficult to achieve. It's gotta be ambitious. It's like on the brink of being not achievable, but deep down you believe that you truly could do it. If you think, actually, I don't think I can do that, it's really easy to give up on it. So it's important to have almost stepping stone goals to help you towards the big one. I'll often say my early season races are never gonna be my A race because I need to get back into it, burn off the rust from being off of racing and then know that my big A race or ambitious goal is later in the season and I'm gonna work my way towards it. And that can be the same in any aspect of your life, making sure you have little goals to tick off before you get to that really difficult big one at the end. Readjusting your goals is also really important. Everyone will have setbacks. For me personally, last year, I broke my foot and had to reevaluate all of my goals. That can be really, really hard because often we think of it as failure, but it doesn't need to be failure because you're still gonna work towards it. You've just had a little road bump in the way. So just trying to reevaluate those goals. How am I gonna overcome this problem? That should be your first goal is, right, how am I gonna get out the other side of this problem I've hit? And then reevaluating to the big goal at the end and trying not to get too upset by it. I think that's the main thing. Be upset for a day, two days, and then think, right, that's not gonna help me move forward anymore. How am I gonna fix this? How am I gonna move forward? And trying to put a positive spin on it. Okay, it's just another thing I'm gonna have to achieve before I get to that big goal at the end. Sometimes you might achieve your big goal way sooner than you thought and you're like, what now? Like, what should I do? It's always about setting another goal after that. Okay, this was great. Make sure you actually reward and celebrate the fact that you did achieve that goal that at the start of the year you thought might not be achievable or might be really hard to do. And then say, okay, what's next? What's my next big goal that I want to achieve? And make sure that you've always got something new to work towards. I think there's nothing more challenging than not having something to work towards because you don't have your why and your reason for getting out of the bed in the morning and working hard towards something. So so always make sure you've got a new goal coming up. My New Year's resolution was really plain and simple, which was just to drink more water, which I think like doesn't need to be applied to triathlon whatsoever. It's just a health goal of mine. It's something that I think I get up in the morning and I drink tea and coffee before I go and train, but I don't actually just have water. So that's quite a big goal of mine and it's very small, but hopefully achievable. And I think that's also really important just to have quite a small achievable goal. Then set yourself maybe a medium term and a long term one that are a little bit more difficult to achieve. So 
for me, my personal goal this year is the PTO series. That's where I want to put my attention to. I've never focused on that distance entirely before, so I just want to see how far I can go in the middle distance. I obviously have a 70.3 world title, so I know the potential is there. There are specific races in the series that is like my A race that I really want to win. I actually can't tell anyone what that race is yet because it's not announced, but they will be announced very, very soon. You probably will see me race a little bit in the Ironman series this year as well, but the PTO is where my focus is going to be this year. So I think it's really important for me to be able to help other people achieve their goals in life. I guess being an athlete, I really do try and help inspire other people to live a healthy, active lifestyle, maybe give triathlon a go, but it doesn't need to be triathlon, just doing sport in general is amazing for your health and well-being. So this year, I actually got my parents a Wahoo Shift bike for Christmas because I just wanted to give them that incentive to keep moving in the new year and really chase their own health and fitness goals. Something very, very exciting has just arrived. It's my mum and dad's Christmas present from Wahoo that I have requested for them as a bit of a surprise for their new year to get them started on their new year goals. And we're about to go and unpack it and then I need to hide it ready for Christmas day. Mum and dad are gonna be Wahooligans. <laughs> I just need to find a big bow. We've no, got I'm, another I'm... present. <coughs> Whoa. Whoa. We see a present in here for mum and dad. For me, Holly and Reese. Do you want to open it? <laughs> no, <it is>. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 I don't really know. No, you go this way, I'll <laughs> oh, Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> I feel like that was just a really nice way to set them off on a, on a good way. It doesn't mean to say that you have to go out there and buy this new shiny bit of equipment, but actually, in the new year, if you are going to treat yourself on anything, I think it's the best thing to do. Get a new pair of trainers that's going to motivate you to go and run outside. When I was a swimmer, I found nothing more motivating than getting a new training swimsuit to make me want to get back in the water. So, yes, that was quite a grand gesture, getting my mum and dad the new bike to train on, but they've already been using it nearly every day, so I feel like it was definitely worth the investment, and I think there's no better investment than investing in your health. Not every Wahoo kicker bike shift comes with world champion setup. No. <laughs> she will hold the bike for 10 more minutes. <laughs> and obviously this goes up and down and then that goes like that. Yeah, so it's once it's you know your setting, you can three, have like, three, like one, this, yeah. two, three, four different numbers. How you have it. Yeah, so another way I'm trying to give back to my community is I'm really pushing our Team Charles Barclay Zwift Club, which you can just go onto the Zwift Companion app, find club, search Team Charles Barclay and join our club. We're trying to build a really positive community on there. There's a group chat where we can share ideas, ask questions. I'm going to do a mixture of group workouts and just group social rides. So we really start to feel like we're a community on there. Instantly by joining a ride, you'll get our team jersey in game, which is amazing. You can only join 10 clubs at a time. So if you're already part of 10 clubs, you will need to leave one of those to join our club, which I think is well worth it, isn't it? <laughs>
Hopefully that's given you a little bit of a positive boost. Just remember, it is never too late to set a new goal. We might be midway through January. If you feel like you already haven't achieved your New Year's resolution, it's never too late to start working towards it. Don't leave it, you can do it. And yeah, hopefully this has helped you as much as possible. As always, make sure to stay tuned as we'll have more videos coming soon to keep you going through those January blues. Hold it the whole time. Is it really heavy guitar? <laughs> <laughs>